Well, hello, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday. Today, a rant. Let me tell you, these beta people are insane. They are worse than the discus people. You hear that, Papa Rhino? The beta people are worse than you and your discus people. Let's talk for a second. I've been into bettas for a little while. Why? Because I'm selfish and I want to sell them. I have these three wonderful bettas I bought for my wholesaler and I want to turn a profit. But in order to turn the most profit, I need to learn about them. I need to know what their tails are. I need to know what kind they are. I kind of need to know a little bit about them so I can write a nice description on my website, put them up for a good price that's fair to me and to the buyer and sell them. So I've been hanging in some beta forums lately, not forums, sorry, Facebook groups, beta Facebook groups. And these beta people are the whiniest people I have ever seen. Oh my God. Let me tell you about the post I commented on today. And I'm not gonna mention the person's name, but it is in a group called Beta Fish Keepers on Facebook. Check it out. I want to put a betta fish and a mystery snail together in a five gallon fish tank. Can someone please tell me what to do? By the way, there's no punctuation. That's annoying in and of itself, but my punctuation sucks too, but at least I use some. I digress. Can someone please tell me what do I need in the fish tank to make them feel comfortable before I put them inside the tank? And who should I put in first? Tanks. I see what you did there. That's First of all, fish are not people. They really don't have feelings. They want four things. One, they don't want to be eaten. Two, they poop. Three, they eat. And four, boom, chicka, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? That's it. It's not like they need companionship where they need to feel comfortable, like they don't need a swing or a hammock or whatever these crazy people put in their tanks. So the first comment is, is pretty good. Pick the right betta. Some betters are too aggressive to have tank mates. How would you know that? They're in a little cup in the store. How do you know if they're gonna be aggressive towards other tank mates? Okay, maybe certain species of bettas are more prone to not liking anyone else in their tank. And then the same person comments, and, and I'd, ID, put snail in first. Although I have a black racer nerite snail, I highly recommend them. Although, kind of means the opposite of what she's saying. I think she meant to type though. I don't really know. I know, now I'm picking on on people in the better group for not having good grammar. Meanwhile, my grammar sucks. Whatever. Kettle black. Boom. By the way, Danny's Aquariums, spectacular channel. Check it out. Someone else comments. Definitely a nerite. Mystery snails will self-reproduce. Another comment. They actually can't reproduce alone, but they can store sperm and lay fertilized eggs even if they're not with another snail. Oh, that's correct. I just didn't want to get into all that, she answers. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, here's my comment. Fish don't need to be comfortable. LOL. And then the OP answers, why not? And I respond with, they are not people. They don't have feelings. LOL. See, I throw the LOL in there so they know I'm not like just being a... You know what. And then... Someone makes a comment, but he deleted his comment. Oh, and the admin has temporarily turned off commenting. I see that now, but I believe someone deleted the comment that said, so you join this group just to troll us? And I answered, not really. I really didn't, but I couldn't help myself, to be honest. Then he says, animals have feelings, bro. Maybe not as complex as human being. Sorry. Maybe not as complex as a human being, but they have, feel fear, excitement, etc. Hashtag science. I'm sure they feel fear. That's sort of a like a natural thing for survival. Not sure they get excited. 
not the way we get excited like if you're a young boy and you see a pretty girl walking you might get excited or if you're a fat guy like me and you see tacos you might get excited i don't i don't think they get excited like that other than oh it's food i need to eat for survival like i don't i don't think they get excited like he thinks they do and so they've turned off commenting but these better people are insane i've answered all kinds of things like is it okay if i put my male betta in a five gallon tank if i don't have any plants and they go crazy they go insane oh the other thing is when they call them my boy i came home to find my boy floating on the side what do i do maybe you should have learned how to take care of fish before you bought a betta i i don't know that's cruel i know i didn't know how to take care of fish you probably didn't know how to take care of fish i get it better are a lot of people's first fish that was uncalled for. I'm sorry. <sighs> Let's read some more. Oh, they love the name game. What are your betta's current names? This is Thor because he's got yellow on his fins. I don't name fish. Although I did name Bruce, so I should probably shut up about the names. Oh, hold on, hold on. I have Heatwave, Prowl, and Jazz. Maybe he's a Transformer fan. That's kind of cool. I take it back. Lincoln, Lola, and Lucky. Somebody likes L's. Rio and Finn. Huh. Oh, this is good. Benton. John. J A U N E. Johnny. Ray, Sprout, Zen, Phoenix, Beetlejuice, Simon, Feast, Medic, and Bradley. I'm sure there's a theme there. I just can't figure out what it is. Dragonblood, Nightmare, Spirit, and Shadow. Those are all really cool names. You must really be into Dungeons and Dragons. <sighs> Sorry, I know it's 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 there's a lot about Finrot. My boy has Finrod, what should I do? I mean... I don't know, maybe because I know what to do it sounds like a silly question, but wouldn't you research on, on YouTube? Not YouTube, although you could research on YouTube. Wouldn't you research on Google first? Ask Mr. Google, he's pretty smart. I don't know, uh, maybe I'm just overreacting. Let's see if I can find another good one. Is it normal for my better to breathe fast? Let's read this post. This is, I don't know how this is going to turn out. <clears throat> a new member though, 41 minutes ago. It's his first post. Hello guys, I just bought a fish tank and filled it with some water and fish. I have three goldfish and one betta. I bought betta today and looks like it's aggressive sometimes to other goldfish, but not every time. This has to be a complete troll. It has to be. Anyway, it chases sometimes, then goes to a corner and stays for like two to three minutes alone maybe they still need time to get to know each other oh. i have a wooden decoration where the betta always stays alone is it safe or can betta kill the goldfish or vice versa if so i'll return it to the pet shop tomorrow here we go goldfish and betta should not be together they have totally different needs that's true but he doesn't explain it he must have realized that because less than a minute later he comments better like warm water goldfish don't and then he just writes don't put them together ever then someone answers goldfish are temperate this means they thrive in cool and warm climates but still never keep them with bettas i know they can go in warm water i put them in a tank that was 80 degrees with my angelfish just to prove a point just to prove how dumb some people on facebook are I know it's a rant i know you're shocked okay so this one sounds good hi so i would personally take the goldfish back instead of the betta the reason being is good because goldfish even though they are tiny when you get them they can grow quite big exclamation point they can grow quite big in fact keeping them inside a 10 gallon will make them pass away due to the fact that the inside of their bodies will keep growing but they won't but they won't 
So basically, they will pass away from being too small, but their insides are so big that they will just be painful death for them. A better, on the other hand, can live in a 10-gallon its whole life without a problem. If you're still wanting to keep the goldfish, they need a 40-gallon tank to keep them in, so they can stay nice and healthy. There is a YouTube channel also based on goldfish if you're interested. It's called, guess what, Solid Gold. I hope this is helpful. I hope this helped a lot. Getting into the fish hobby can be quite confusing. That is great advice, except how does she know what kind of goldfish they are to know if a 40 gallon is even going to be big enough? She doesn't really know. Maybe they're comets and they're going to go to be like eight inches each. Then a 40 isn't big enough. But on the surface, that's pretty good advice, I have to say. And she said, check out a YouTube channel. Not bad. All right. I can't read any more of these. They're annoying. These better people, though. Can I put a betta in a one gallon? Oh, no. No, that's... No, you can't do that. Really? I have mine in a one gallon, and they're fine. Then they don't tell them why they can't keep it in a one gallon. If you want to keep a betta in one gallon, sure. If you have a filter, great. That's even better. But if you're changing water every day, what's the problem? They don't say that. If they said that, people would understand why they can't be in a one gallon without a filter. Even one gallon with a filter, if you feed correctly, they'll be fine. Take a deep breath, lower the blood pressure. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh, the sales posts. They, they're running this, this question. Should we allow sales posts? Shouldn't we? All these Thailand sales posts? Okay, let's see. Let's read this one. Getting so discouraged. Switch to live plants and a nyrite stale. Couple shrimp. Bam! Now I have copiapods, brown or red. Ram's horns. Some tiny ant looking thing. And those nasty little white work things. I freaking give up. I, what, do you want advice or are you just venting? So what? You have some snails. Take them out. You should have dipped your plants. I don't know. Again, maybe I'm overreacting. I don't know. Ugh. What's wrong with my girl's fin? I don't think it's fin rot. It's gone. There's nothing left of it. The There's nothing there. I don't think it's fin rot. Then she edited. Her pH is 7.6, ammonia is 0. Her temp is set to 80, and she is in a 10-gallon with two other girls. Well, based on that information, I bet those two other girls beat the living bejesus out of her and ate her tail. That's what I guess, but I'm not a better expert in no means. Let's see what these people said. Clapped fin. How do I heal it or fix it? And then they posted a link. That's good. That's exactly what I would have done. How do you fix it? You learn how to Google. Check your water. She's stressed. pH is 7.6 and ammonia is 0. What about the other important parameters? She looks very clamped up. They do that when they're stressed. That cold water. Temp is 78. How's your water? Have you tested it lately? Do you have a heater? She's really clamped. pH is 7.6 and ammonia is 0. Temp is 78. What's the temp? 78. I'd slightly increase it, maybe to 80. Really? Two degrees is going to make a difference? If temp is not the issue, you should have a backup tank, just in case she's being picked on by the other two females. Somebody said that already. A sorority needs a minimum of five to six girls in sufficient space, along with a few hiding spots. Could be stressed. She's in a sorority, which means you have a higher risk of things like Things like that happening, given the nature of those types of setups. How big is the tank? 10 gallon, but she, but has a temp of 80 and has lots of hiding spaces. What does the temp have to do with the size? I, hmm. Could be stressed with the other fish in the tank. And then the admin has turned off commenting. Why do you turn off commenting? <sighs> All right, fishy folks. That's it for me ranting. Maybe I'm out of line, but I don't really care. Hope you guys have a great Fishy Friday. See ya. Well, hello, Fishy folks. Happy Fry Fire Friday. Today, another rant. 
So as you know, I have three bettas in the fish room, and the only reason I have them in the fish room is to grow them out, make sure they're healthy, and sell them. Why? Because I sell prish, prish, 